In this video, I'm going to talk about three buying tips you should consider before purchasing your occupancy sensors. Power rating is the most important factor to be aware of before buying an occupancy sensor. Let me go over a quick example so you know what to look for. Let's say you find a room where you want to install your wall switch, and this room has five existing incandescent lights. Each light is rated for 60 watts, so that means you intend to connect 300 watts to your sensor. In this example, the power rating of this switch will need to be at least 300 watts or higher. On your screen are three different sensors with different power ratings. In this example, the correct selection would be the 5 amp version of the switch. You can see here this switch is good for up to 600 watts of incandescent lights. In summary, count the fixture type and watts to determine the correct power rating you need for your room. Some switches require a neutral wire present, some others don't. Different switches have different requirements. In my opinion, buy a switch with no neutral requirement. That way you are covered in either scenario, regardless if you have a neutral wire at your home or not. Vacancy setting or occupancy setting. Most switches have both these capabilities and can be toggled by flipping a small switch like this one. Let me explain the difference between both these settings. In occupancy mode, it's auto on, auto off. The lights automatically turn on with your presence and they will automatically turn off when you leave. In vacancy mode, it's manual on, auto off. That means the lights need to be manually turned on and the lights will automatically turn off. 